Hey, it's Fort Worth Playboy. And my Playboy's Bunny. Welcome to our podcast where we discuss pickup, game, relationships, and... Sex, sex, sex. And today we're going to discuss holiday game. And it's a, well, today being the 15th, 16th. So for the next two weeks. December. Yeah, and I've been hitting this since the beginning of the month. Mm Because you kind of got to get some momentum. Is the holidays are a period where girls suspend their their disbelief, their their <laughs> standards, their you know, all of the rules go out the window until January the morning of January first. And I would I would say until February fifteenth. That's interesting. That's funny. Seriously. And and the way I convey it if you've ever been in sales is like in sales, like at the end of the month You call every person that you have a scrap of paper with their number on it, Mm -hmm. that they've talked to you, they've given you their business card, they've reached out to you, anyone that's walked in and looked around, and you call the week before the end of the month and try to get them in to close them by the end of the month. Mm -hmm. It's closeout. Well, this, we're going to have a pussy closeout. (laughs) You're going to call. I love that. You're going to call. Text. Text. Facebook, message, ins- whatever, Instagram, <laughs> every girl in the last year mm-hmm. that's reached or that you have a contact for, mm-hmm. and just like, hey, woman, it's exactly. it's work, you know, Playboy Apollo has mastered its two words, and it just <laughs> seems to work universe. You, you don't have to make it personalized. Just hey, woman, yeah, and then let her take the rest. She will too. They will because there's some that are like sitting around going, oh my god. No girl wants to be alone in the holidays. Well, and right now they've just gotten through Thanksgiving, a big family holiday where everybody's been asking her what happened to her last boyfriend, how's Eric doing, oh, we broke up, or I can't believe you haven't met a nice boy. You know, you're such a sweet girl. You're so pretty. And she's been struggling and been alone, and no girl wants to be alone during the holidays. No. And they don't have, I mean... Whether it be, I mean, you, and the number one thing is it's close out. So you need to reach yeah. out and do not be surprised if ex-girlfriends or old hookups reach out to you because they're in, t- and they won't tell you exactly. They'll say, hey, I'm going to be over at Eric's later this week, or I'm coming in to see my mom. Yeah. Let them know that, that, that you're in town. That, that's all they're doing. I mean, they're just letting you know. They're open to suggestion. Mm-hmm. You know, I mean, and the suggestion is let's go fuck. But you have to make that happen. But they're going to give you, I mean, girls aren't going to come direct. They'll say, hey, I just want you to know that I'm in town. I'm going to go visit my sister or whatever, you know. Yeah. And that's your opening to make it happen. Uh-huh. You know, because they're not going to do that. But you will have a lot of girls that have been in your orbit before coming back in. And you just take advantage of it. Over the holidays. And again, even if it's an ex-girlfriend that you're kind of like ambivalent about, it's just for the next two or three weeks. They're not looking for a, a rekindling of the relationship. No. You don't have to bring it up. You just go out and have fun. Yeah. This is great. the ultimate fun guy time. Yeah. You know, if she, she says, hey, I want you to go to this Christmas party, it doesn't mean you're engaged. It means you're going to a Christmas party and you're going to get drunk. And then you're going to go have some fun. Uh, yeah. You know, I mean, exactly. that's it. And, and Bunny reminded me to remind you, this doesn't mean you have to buy presents. No. None no. of this is serious stuff. No. This is simply fun stuff. Girls are reaching. They, they want to have fun. They want to have sex. And they don't want to be alone. That's they, all. Those are the three requirements. They don't want to be alone. They don't want to be alone. They don't want to be alone. Exactly. And you can fulfill that void. You don't have to just stay with them either. I mean, you can run a little bit of a rotation and no one cares. They don't care where you're at when you're not with them. Holiday closeout, holiday pussy closeout. That's that's right. Holiday rotation, whatever you want to call it. But get out and get on the phone and start working those numbers and get out to the parties too. Because the girls, it's, hey, holiday parties are even better than weddings. Yeah. Girls are in the mood to hook up. They are. And they don't they don't care if you're going to last an hour or 10 years. They're like, hey, this guy's cute, and I'm going home with him. It's true. You know? It's and that's, true. It's, it's a good time. And especially if you hit, like, parties, you have that referral. You know, 
you're known, you have your social support. Yeah, it's a social circle, yeah. so you've got like a, an added bonus Man, there. Man, holiday parties are, are the hookup spot. I mean, there's just, don't sleep on that. And and if you're invited out with a buddy, go. Yeah. Just go. Exactly. No matter what, just go. Do not go. sit on your fucking couch No. through any invitation this season. No, get out and Shame go. Shame on you. You have too much, too many skills, too much game that you've built up over the last year that you can apply and have a great time, mm-hmm. you know. Um, the number two thing is how do girls mentally approach the holidays? Mainly, it's it's a difficult time to be alone for anyone. I mean, you know, the studies are are rampant on this one. That, you know, being alone during the holidays is, is literally a dangerous thing to be. Um, but girls especially don't want to be alone. They want the attention. They want the possibility of gifts. I mean, again, if you're, they don't, aren't ex- going to expect something from, from a, a recent hookup, but they want the possibility of something more. They want the possibility that next year is going to be something more. You know, anything that you can do to add a little spark of fun Joy, hope, and hot sex to their lives is a win, win, win. So, the and the and they feel a lot of pressure, particularly as if there's not enough inter- internal pressure. They also have a lot of pressure from family during this time. You know, like I said earlier, you know, I can't believe a nice girl like you hasn't found a a, a boy to marry, or you know, whatever happened to you know, whoever the boyfriend was five years ago that the family actually liked or actually knew about, you know. So there's a lot of questions. There's a lot of pressures and girls are fed up with it. So even if it's like, I wouldn't want to date someone that that my grandma would pick out for me. They're like, I want to get ripped on the company dime at the company Christmas party and then fuck. Yeah. It's hot. And for you, you as a player, as a professional womanizer, you know your role. Mm-hmm. Therefore, if people, what would you say, um, um, assume that you're more serious than you are, that's okay too. Because you know where you guys stand. So your job is to play the role just for the just for the party. You know? Yeah. And it's just, it's a classy thing to do. It's what players and playboys have done forever. Yeah. They're an escort with the girl, and they they play whatever role she needs them to play for that few hours, and then they go in, out and have fun. And what's great about that is she feels like Cinderella. Yeah. I mean, in the, in the bottom line is she feels like the princess, the belle of the ball, because she got to play this role. You helped her play it. It was fun. There's something kind of like sneaking around about it because you have a little secret yeah. in that you're not really all that serious, but you're having fun and, you know. You're having more fun than the people that are serious. Yeah. And that's the important thing. Yeah. You know, and again, you get points for being a guy that just gets it. Like if somebody says, hey, is this your boyfriend? She's like, you know, you don't choke up and go, no, 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 no. Yeah. You just go with whatever she don't says. Don't be an asshole. That yeah. is an asshole move to say, oh, no, this is my this is my friend. Yeah. You just go with whatever. And even say, hey, we're going into this. What do you want me to be? Yeah. You know, who am I? Yeah. You know, and she'll tell you. Yeah, and she that's, will. that's what you do. I mean, and then you play your role. I that's love part it. of being a player. And again, you get points for being a guy that just gets it. Mm-hmm. And that's all that girls want are men that just get it. And then the third thing is, is... The gifts. The Just gifts, that, yeah. That you're not expected to, to get gifts for these girls. You know, at the very least, if you want to do something, we love the dirty limerick on a on a piece of paper, you know. Yeah. Like, as a homemade card kind of thing. Just something fun and playful and equivalent to what you are. <laughs> yeah, and your, your presence is the gift. You know, I know that sounds... Like a joke, but it really is. I mean, you keeping her excited and from having to sit around and be bored. Yeah. And someone to go do stuff with. Yeah. Is the gift that you give. It really is. You know. And 
I mean, girls like sex as much as we do. And the fact that she's not having to like, you know, bust out these one night stands. Yeah. You know, and you can still go see other girls. I mean, there's no rules here. And again, this thing's only last until about, I say January 2nd, but Bunny says. I definitely say the day after fa- Valentine's yeah, Day. I mean, may, that's that's where girls' minds are geared. Yeah, yeah. Um, <clears throat> girls tend to start evaluating their relationships in January. I yeah. mean, that's when they'll dump the guy that's not moving in the right direction or whatever. It's true. So, you know, if you got to go back to school or, you know, you guys both get busy with work in January, it's no big deal. No. You know, I mean, your job is to be the holiday guy. And hell, you might end up pulling this gig off for two or three years. Seriously. You know, but again, the holidays are romantic time where you don't have to work too hard. And mm-hmm. the rules of regular sexual engagement are suspended. Yeah. You know. It's true. It's I a mean, great time. Search even the Hallmark Channel. Even something as G-rated as like the Hallmark Channel, which I know you guys don't watch but you hear about. It's nothing but hookup. It's nothing but holiday romance. That's it. Out of nowhere, it's the holiday total formula. romance. It's the formula. If well, if Hallmark does it, everybody. And does that's it. all they do. That's all that's they all do. they do. They show romantic comedies for twenty four hours a day. Yeah, that's it. That revolve around the holidays. That's right. Period. There's no getting away from it. Uh uh-uh. uh So that's the real deal. We want you guys to make the most of this two weeks when all of your skills that you develop over the year, you can actually apply them. And everybody benefits. Well, and New Year's is kind of is is kind of like an added bonus from like Halloween because Halloween everybody wants to dress up, get slutty, you know, dress up sexy and yeah. things like that. New Year's is like that too. Girls want to look their hottest ever on New Year's Eve yeah. night. Yeah, they want to look fucking lit. Yeah, so it's a fun time to, to be, be out. Yeah, to be a player. Yeah, it is. You got anything to add? If you like this, hit the like button, subscribe, share with your friends. Uh, this is We try to make most of our stuff evergreen. So this, us even saying, very today's specific. December 16th. Yeah. But it's specific. specific. We need you to take action right now. You have two weeks or two months to play <laughs> your little hearts out and... and Fuck until you can't see straight. That's what we're wishing for you. We want you to win. That's that's our gift to you. That's right. (laughs) It's the gift that keeps on giving. That's right. We want you to win. Bye.